What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. <clears throat> so we got Time of Need. Not, doesn't seem. Actually, I mean, I guess if you're channeling and then you cast Time of Need to get like Ulamog or Emrakul, but wouldn't you rather just have an extra one of those in your deck, right? Like, if I could have either Time of Need or Ugin, I'd rather have Ugin because, well, it's just better in the late game, but it's also just another card you can just cast with it. I don't need to go get a creature if I if this is just a big idiot. But we're going to take Mox Diamond. Because Mox Diamond is a banana. Banger. It's going to go in the deck. I never want to play Mox Diamond as a land because you already need fewer lands. You already need more lands already. Because, oh, and a Mox Sapphire. So Mox on Mox. Fantastic. What up, Odysseus? I like this Minskin Boo and I love the Tooth and Nail is back, but... It's a blue mox. I mean, let's be let's be real for a second. <coughs> Arcane proxy is interesting. I, I don't know if it's good, but it's interesting. I mean, you obviously can't cast counter spells with it, which is the biggest advantage, <clears throat> or one of the biggest advantages of Snapcaster, right? Like, I can cast it on your turn, and then I can cryptic command you, or counter spell you, or mana drain you, or mana leak you. And the fact that you can't do that is huge. That being said, you can still time walk an Ancestral Recall. <clears throat> I really also like Sneak Attack here because it's early, but I think I'm going to go with the Arcane Proxy. And then I'm going to be like, hey, you know what? If we get Ancestral or Time Walk, pay it off. Unfortunately, he can't even Time Warp, which I, is something I've done with Snapcaster before. You can't even Time Warp with this guy because it's got to be four or less. <clears throat> and we're just definitely taking Remand there. Not really close. Uh, Ulamog is big. We did pass a sneak attack. Chandra is pretty good. There's no good exclusively blue cards in here. If this was an artifact, it would be great because I could tinker into it if that was an option. It's not. I mean, is it still possible I just take this guy in the hopes that we get sneak attack back, maybe? Or like through the breach? I think the upsides on Ulamog are better than Chandra. I don't know if that's correct. Assault Monolith. This is also an interesting uh, potential Metalworker deck, which is also good with an Ulamog, you know? That being the case, I'll just take the Basalt Monolith. I do like Coma, Cosmos Serpent. I mean, if we're just going blue artifacts, I do not see Baral being that beneficial here. Big dumb artifacts are cool. We also have to get a metal worker. <coughs> um, Batterskull or Coma? It's definitely one of these two. Batterskull is good if we get Stoneforge Mystic. It's, it's just a card we can play. This is, I, I think we'll just take the Batterskull. It does work better with artifacts. And I'm kind of in the middle. It also doesn't commit us to a color right now. Thirst for Discovery is pretty decent. Especially if we have a significant number of basic lands, which based on the blue, we very well might. Lauren is also good, but again, no reason to commit to a second color here. Ward Power Stone. Again, no reason to commit to a second color here. <laughs> Phyrexian Roker is a guy. I don't think any of these other cards are worth going into. So, uh, Ketria Triome keeps us open. Sure, why not? Cauldre complete. Okay. All right. This is a lot of artifacts. So we really want a metal worker at a player in Academy. I think. Those are the goals. Those are our colorless goals. And we also have the Mox Sapphire, which is like, come on, perfect. Mm, Lingering Souls is actually fine. 
we're gonna need white for either of those cards so oh coma came back as a last pick that's actually pretty hilarious <coughs> Uh, okay, not the colorless land we wanted, but Force of Negation is very good. Ancestral Vision is pretty decent. Uh, and like zero artifacts in this pack. I think we're just taking Force of Negation. <laughs> uh, maybe it's Ancestral Vision. I don't know. We don't have much card. Well, oh, uh, you can actually proxy visions, which definitely puts this a lot higher. <clears throat> It does have a mana value less than or equal to its casting cost. Yeah, that's that's actually the pick then. I agree, if that's what you were suggesting. I'm going to take Jace. I love Coalition Relic, but we already have Basalt and Warm Power Stone. And Jace is probably one of the best mono blue planeswalkers you can get, so. Oh, what up, Baron Von BVVH? <clears throat> it's your boy, BVVH. I like a Mull Drifter. I also like a Karn. Do I need a third 7-drop? Even if it is a Karn. Do I make a Pig Nose until I pick? Oh. Decisions, decisions. I think it might be Mull Drifter here. Actually, this guy is hardly a 7-drop. I'm going to take the Karn. I don't want to get stuck on this being a seven drop because right now it's literally like ancestral vision is what we're casting with it. Time spiral. Boy, that's fascinating, isn't it? Upheaval is even better. We're taking an upheaval. We are now basalt model with warm power stone, box sapphire upheaval deck. It is Mr. Mean Muggins now. <laughs> they call me Frankie Mean Muggins. That's pretty funny. I'm going to send that to Katie, actually. Oh my god, really? That's weird. The screen capture blanked out the chat when I did when I went to do that. Um, If we get an Emery Mind Slaver, it's just very, very good. Ugin's also great, but without a way to cast an Ugin, I think I like Mind Slaver better. And by cast it, I mean we don't have Metalworker, we don't have like a channel, so... <coughs> I would take Chalice, but without um, Metalworker or like Talarian Academy or even Misha's Workshop, I think I just want to have more blue control cards that are useful. I'm going to take Retrofitter Foundry because it's a win con. Uh, if we get a Nerza Saga, it's even better. All right, let's try it on the... Let's try it on the regular stream. Oh, yeah, that works. So when I have chat popped out... That disappears. Have you guys ever tried to screen capture like Hulu or um, Thank you. Like Netflix in a browser and the screen goes black when you when you open the snipping tool? Anybody familiar with that? Like it's weird because that's what chat did. Uh definitely think so are here. Was that um an undreamt tuna resub. <clears throat> I see my, my voice is going. I don't know why. But there it goes. Goodbye, voice. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, I guess we'll take this guy. I don't know. It's not very good. Undreamt tuna. The best of the tunas. Sixty-two months, seven months away from the the best number of months. I'll take a Spire Bluff Canal with the with Ketria Triumph. This is actually you. two red sources, which is pretty. Zimini Pod, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Are you back, back, or just back for Cube? It's always a good question. The Muldrifter came back, which is absolutely disrespectful. Uh, I don't understand it. I'll take a Breeding Pool. Actually, maybe we take Candelabra. It's just another artifact that may untap. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, I don't know. I'm probably back until I find a real job, which is what I've been doing for the past three months. 
They say it takes a month for every ten thousand dollars you need to, you you make, right? Like, so I'm really really getting there. <laughs> Uh, I don't think streaming is, uh, it's a real job for some people. I don't think it's a real job for me, uh, in the sense that like, I just don't make enough doing it. So I don't say consecrated Sphinx because come on, we know why we know why Frankie's taking consecrated Sphinx. So Grim Monolith is actually a banger of a card here. Oh, guy got laid off like two weeks after you did, buddy. I'm so sorry. I definitely know the... It sucks. It sucks. I do kind of like Caracas here. We also have an Ulamog in the sideboard, which is kind of funny. And we have this Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger here. I'm tempted to just take Caracas just to take it. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, like, we're not likely to do that. Hmm. Yeah, Caracas just wins games sometimes. And like, our deck's looking pretty solid so far. This Mox can, however, go on the sideboard. So this will be our main deck right now. Oh, wow. Mana Leak is really good. Karn is okay. I think Mana Leak is better. So I'm going to put it in my stack. We did not get Ancestral Vision. Or Ancestral Recall. We did not get Time Walk. So our our, our uh, arcane proxy is worse, unfortunately. Uh, we can cast it for seven to to kick a thirst for discovery, or we can cast it for three, and only hit ancestral right now. This is again why I, I don't love this card. I just think the hits are too few. Um, I, like at least torrential gear hulk is a six mana card with flash. It has five power and six toughness. This has four power and three toughness. It's seven mana instead of six. And like Torrential Gear Hulk hits any instant in your graveyard. Which is so much more versatile. What happened with your job? I got laid off in like December, man. Like six months ago. <coughs> our, <coughs> our whole project got put on hold and I was well, our whole team was laid off. It was pretty rough. Gearhawk is infinitely better than Proxy. 100%. Agree, agree completely. Um, like, I like Walking Ballista, but we really don't have any way to take advantage of it. I think we're just taking Factor Fiction here. Our deck is going to draw a lot of cards. Oh, Cryptic Command in this deck? In this economy? For sure. Dig Through Time. And, repl and Displacer Kitten. I don't think this is actually that good with our deck. I mean, we can blink Mull Drifter, but that's pretty much it. I guess we'll just take a dig, and I'm not even sure we're going to play it. Oh, Mystic Confluence. Come on. We have all the great blue counter spells. This is, this is the deck, if you ask me. <clears throat> I like Thran Dynamo, but... I mean, come on. Okay, so we didn't hit any of the good artifact cards. So this is basically just blue control right now. Um, Porcelain Legionnaire is actually a dude we might might even just play. Same with Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Feast and Famino. Sure, I'll take a Memory Jar. I'll take a Hero. None of these cards are going to make it into our deck, unfortunately. <laughs> Zimmy Bot. My, <clears throat> my, my confidence in I've got this is... Uh, has has dwindled over the past half a year as I keep applying and keep getting interviews and keep doing design tests and keep getting follow-up interviews and then I keep losing positions like this person had experience with our specific studio so we went with them and I'm like okay well I can't compete with that <clears throat> you know I mean, this is a pretty solid 23, I think. <clears throat> also, I have two. I have Batter Skull and Culture Complete. Is this better? I 
Man, I really wish we got a Urza Saga for this deck. That would be sick. Sort of fire. Uh, Mox Sapphire, which we are playing. Caracas, which we'll play. I think that's pretty much it. I think we have the option of playing Dig Through Time over something, but I don't know if that's even very good. Is that better than Factor Fiction? I'm not sure. And I do like having three counter spells and then also Cryptic Command into Mystic Confluence. We also do have quite a few upheaval uh, beauty boys. <laughs> What does that even mean? Nobody knows. Only five creatures, but then we have this guy. We don't even have a we don't have a way to recur this either, so we're hoping it just wins us through uh, sheer force of force of demoralization. Alright. Um I, I think we I, I think I wish we had a couple more win conditions, but Hold on a second. So I guess we got that going for us. I actually kind of like Porcelain Legionnaire over... Eh, maybe I don't. I don't actually know. I got divorced, got a new job, had to buy a new home. Got COVID in the middle, so it's... Uh, dude, I'm Zimini Pot, that is rough, buddy. Good grief, man. So sorry to hear about all that. Create one on stagger, create one on flyer. I do kind of like this. I think this is actually really good. What do we take out for it though? Maybe Mind Slaver. Like our deck isn't relying on having just a bunch of artifacts anymore. It doesn't matter. And it is also another win condition. So yeah, let's do this and we'll just have like literal 15 islands <laughs> we could also play this guy over uh, off of Ketria Trium and Spire Bluff Canal and then we also have uh, Mox Diamond but you know you want it early so plus you're going to bounce all your tokens with upheaval anyway well this could be good All right, <clears throat> let's see if this is anything. I will, I'll keep it. I don't love it, but. Now we're gonna get salty. If only you had a gutter bones. Is that, do you think that's what I need? <laughs> Is that, give me a misdirection, a mana lake, or a remand. Island. I said remand, and they thought I said I land, and I, I think it just, it was a, just a miscommunication. Now they're gonna play Adelaide. That's good too. See, I wish I had a counterspell for that. People ask for a mana leak when what they really need is gutter bones. No. They did not attack. I'm very fascinated with this decision. They also failed to find? Is this a troll? Because, like, their name is Bad Player for Life, and they just made... What is happening right now? This is the most confused I've ever been. <clears throat> what in the earth is going on? Yeah, okay. 
now they're now they're crewing. Got it. Dude, it's so loud out there. It's wild. Hmm. That could have been a good turn. Upheaval, play my land, float. <clears throat> I guess I wouldn't be floating anything here, though, huh? Wow, it's so loud. Can you guys hear this? You probably can't, but... I mean, I guess we're just passing and keeping up thirst. This is so loud. I'm like shocked. It's let me, let me turn the mic towards it, maybe that'll help. It's like really loud, like shockingly loud. Oh, I just got a ring notification. Severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for... <clears throat> now I gotta open it. Uh, for Northwestern Weld County... East Central Larimer County until 4.15, so about 45 minutes. Yeah, they never last very long. Wild. Is this Mother of Runes? Always the Mother of Runes. How big are they? I can't actually tell. When I went out there, I didn't see them. I just heard them. And I was like, well, that's definitely not rain. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, basic land. Cryptic command off the top. It was an island instead. Well, Mox Diamond even cost some mana here, huh? That's a bummer. Non-creature spells, huh? Oh, this is basically a creature, as you see. Might as well play this, I guess. And then we'll pass, because we can't do anything else. But next turn we can do stuff, right? We have six mana now. We can play Island Upheaval. Wow, that's exciting. Then we get our Basalt Monolith back. Ooh. That is actually interesting. <clears throat> I think we have a couple turns. Gutter Bones is unaffected, just saying. That's... That makes sense. Winds of Abandon. Well, they'll, they'll regret that. Mwahaha ha ha ha. Boy, Thalia's a real pain in the ass, isn't it? I don't know, man. Going upheaval into Mox Diamond, getting Basalt Monolith, getting four mana on the board seems pretty good. And they just get one mana? Like... So I think we're going to pass here. We're going to keep up like Mystic Confluence or Remand or something. And then... Uh, do it, do the deed. Because then we get to play a land first too. And actually the land would actually let us play like Batter Skull on the turn. Mm. 
Yep, yep. Uh, what do we take? Three, four, five here? Sure, I'll go to four. If you want to play an upheaval or plow under deck, what do you need to prioritize to make sure it works for you? Um, mostly cards that ramp into those two cards. Uh, because those are also cards that will let you accumulate mana on the turns you play upheaval. <clears throat> so, like, if you play upheaval, you want to have more than six mana because you want to be able to float mana to replay the mana rocks that gave you more than six mana. Same thing with plow under. If you play, the sooner you play plow under, the better. Like, you want to play it on, like, turn three. So they go from three lands to one land. They just didn't play anything. Fascinating. <sighs> that worked out quite well. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Planes, 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 mother, Thalia, Copter, Seal, Stone Forge. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of land here. It seems pretty easy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a planes. And there's a mother. Mother! Tell your children not to walk my way. Oh, mother. Oh. You guys know the, uh, you guys heard of uh, Glenn Danzig? He's kind of a scumbag, isn't he? They got rid of Thalia, Plains, Stoneforge, Plains. Thalia, Plains, Plains, Stoneforge. So you know we have Planes, Copter, and Seal in hand, but that's the only thing we can be sure of. So now we just get to keep two counter spells up. <clears throat> and then if they want to start blocking and protecting, we can Sower of Temptation after that. And if they don't want to do anything, then we can just untap our Basalt Monolith. So we, we got options. I also made my head a little smaller, so maybe you guys can see things a little better. Oh my god. Shit, it's getting wrecked. Wow, this is a, this was the exact way you wanted the control matchup to play out. The only thing I know they have is a seal. <sighs> the problem is when they block and protect, um, if we sower this, they get to play seal of warding. Is that what the card's called? Let's find out. I think that was it. Seal of seal from existence. They get to play that and get rid of our sower. So, but I think that's, I think we're not there yet. Like we don't have to rush that kind of decision. We can just keep miscalc up for whatever they want to do this turn, or or wait two turns and then just miscalc the the seal of warding. I'm just gonna counter this. Sure. Yeah, next time we get Mystic Confluence, that's pretty good. Arcane Proxy, do you hit anything? I guess when we have seven, you do hit Thirst for Discovery, and that's pretty cool. And we're just...
just going to keep doing this. Three rotation seems awful to you? That's interesting. I think it sounds really good. Having a larger standard card pool is like one of the biggest problems standard has, where it's like you don't um, get to play your cards long enough. You know? So I'm actually tempted to do this because then they have to play seal on like... Oh no, I'm just going to cough. It's going to be so loud. It wasn't that loud. The problem is we're just not getting through right now. There's nothing we're doing that actually gets through. And... We play Sower, take this. They go Seal from Existence, get rid of our Sower, get their Mother back. But then we still get a turn. I think that's actually fine. Hey, Wallace, right? Oh, we just win that game. That's weird. They had Seal Existence in hand, didn't they? Huh. Fascinating. I definitely do not think that game was over. Uh, but I think they're going to be more liberal about banning things if that's the case, right? Like, plus you have an extra, a whole extra year of sets to deal with those obnoxious cards. That's the problem, or that's the that's the that's the trick, right? So, like, I mean, Shieldred is obnoxious, sure, but you have one whole extra year of cards that are able to deal with Shieldred in the format. So, you know, you're adding thirty three percent more to the card pool. I actually kind of like Deceiver Exarch. It just blocks a lot of their stuff. I could take Arcane Proxy out. Porcelain Legionnaire is actually pretty good too, I think. Comically. Um, let's go for one. Like I just, I just, I think historically, uh, larger formats are just better. They they give you more options. They give your cards more value. Yeah, you're never. It's never going to be like, oh, there's no more obnoxious cards now. Like, you know, if one card's obnoxious and it doesn't rotate, like the odds are there's just another obnoxious card going to replace it. If we can get one land, we can go turn two, turn one Grim Monolith here. Turn two Jace. Pretty good. Should help us find future lands. Land, 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 land. Also, Caracas is nice because it deals with Thalia. So that's a benefit. That's a little perk. Dude, it, found, it sounds like someone's just dropping marbles outside of this room. So will they be aggressive banning the next couple sets are already done, so they can't change things? Was it a card pool of standard? Was it the card pool of standard or that they turned focus to commander or that there is no... Pr uh, it could be any one of those things, to be honest with you. Dang it. Ah, biscuits. See, now there's no point to even playing Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond, outside of turn one, is just not as good. Unless you have multiple lands, I guess. I guess that's... Because next turn, if we had two lands, we could go... A three drop, so never mind. But really, on turn two, if you're only drawing one land a turn and you only and like that's your max, like then, you know, sad times. If we can hit two lands off the top right here, that's really good. All right, land. Living that dream. Um, so we actually have to play this here. We could keep up Mana Leak, but then we have no plays for turn three with Grim Monolith. At least we can, like... We can play Deceiver Exarch, untap Grim Monolith, and have a sweet blocker at least. <laughs> cool. Cool. 
Um, it's not about trusting Watsi to find the balance, right? Like, they're not going to do that just because there's an extra year of standard. You know what I mean? Like, that's not part of the deal. Like, if you don't trust them to find a balance, they're not going to do that whether the standard's two years or three years. Like, there's no, you know, it's just not, it's not going to matter. But the point is, as long as they can recognize metagames and see what the problem is, then, you know, that should be the solution, right? Like, you ban the problematic card or cards. But you're not, yeah, you're not trusting Watsi, like, that's going to be that's going to be an issue whether it's a 2 year standard or 3 year standard. One one land here would have been great. Block with the Deceiver Exarch. But alas. Oh, something big? Yeah, we'll just I I say the nay. I got a one drop too. Sure. Land? All right, well. The dream hath been lived. Well, we're not going to play worn, worn Power Stone here, that's for sure. Remember when this guy took my Grim Monolith? <laughs> it sounded like someone was dropping marbles in the attic. But the attic door was locked. Sure. Seems good. So we can play Jace and bounce the Skyclave Apparition to get two. Then they just give Usher, Pro Blue, and attack Jace and kill him. That is not ideal. We can also just bounce Mother. I guess then we have one blocker and then we still lose Jace. We block here. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. I guess we can just factor fiction. Can't apparition that Jason enters the battlefield. Oh, I guess they could do that, sure. I, I guess. If you want to get technical. I don't think they should be aggressively banning. I think if there's a problem, they should ban. You know, like if a, if a card or a deck is oppressive and it's putting up, you know, 55 to plus percentage of the metagame like that's not an unhealthy format and i think you should definitely do something about that wow really we're just gonna go to the next game they kind of have it all and we missed a few land drops here so um i'm kind of tempted to play this guy to be honest with you <laughs> I don't think it's needed. Sure. So they have Seal and Skyclave Apparition, which are both very good against my three mana artifacts. If we draw a Mox Diamond here, that's pretty cool. Give me that Mox Diamond. Or a Counterspell. Three mana. Sure. Sounds Gucci. <sighs> Fuck, 
that's annoying. Oh, God. Caracas off the top. Okay, just an island. Sounds good. Would have loved to play a spell here, but... No bueno. I guess we can just steal that Thalia. It's not playing things. Blade splicer. I'm gonna splice those blades. Well, that guy's interesting. I'll just take your take your golem. At least it's a blocker. And if they get it back, they can't attack with it. So they're gonna go land seal from existence or land skyclave apparition. They got two of them in the deck, so they have to have one in hand at all times, I guarantee it. And that's not it. Mm, that is not it either. Okay. We get to keep a guy and then keep Cryptic Command up? Liking it. Uh, I personally would not first pick Talia. I, I don't know if it's a terrible choice, but I just don't think it's something I would necessarily do. Hmm. So this guy is obnoxious. Tempted to play Jason, just bounce him. Then they get three guys. It's like I'm going to permanent put a one on counter out. Sure, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's a little mutual B. Um... It's either Jace or keep up Cryptic Command. Those are our decisions. Magic Arena, huh? Sounds like... Sounds pretty boring. I kind of like keeping Cryptic Command here. Yeah, we'll keep Cryptic Command up. That just feels better. We can also thirst for discovery as well, so. Lots of safety nets. Uh, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, that is gross. They can only pump it once, but still, giving your whole team plus one is pretty bad. Uh, we're gonna do the counter. They have two cards in hand, huh? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a juicy spell. That's a juicy spell. Hmm. Just keeps coming, huh? That's pretty good. Now we got mana confluence. Mana Confluence. So next turn we can keep up Mana Confluence uh, and then bounce Thalia as one of our modes. And then we can follow it up with Jace Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, they figured out the Adanto Vanguard angle. Do we just make them pay four? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take three here. What about reconfigure? What about it? Oh, that lion thing. Yeah, it's, it's like a living weapon. You can reconfigure it. Oh my god, are you insane? Come on, buddy. Counter. Return. And I guess we'll draw one? No, we want to bounce two. Uh, you, you, and you. 
That's beautiful. <laughs> we could have also just let it resolve and just bounced three of their creatures. That actually might have been sick too. So we know they have Thalia and what was the other card? Vanguard. And one random card? Sure. That's pretty good for us. Oh, wow. That's a big fat boy. We want to hit a land. We did not hit a land, so that's unfortunate. Um, I don't think it matters what we put on top. We'll put... I guess we want... Uh, Karn and then... Batter skull. This seems fine. What? Oh my god, I thought they were playing like a condemn or something ridiculous. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Like, we have two three, three mana first strikers. Uh, I guess this guy doesn't have first strike, but... Oh, we just win the match. Cool. <laughs> what did they say? Something? What did they say? Well, I never know. Hide chat. There's no chat. Okay. I thought they said something. Well, that went well. I will play first. Mox Diamond. No, oh, one land. No, that's not that's not what we're looking for. Oh, that's that's good though. We'll keep this and we'll ship the Karn. Actually. We'll ship a land. Karn, I mean we have Grim Monolith and Upheaval here, so you know. Plus Ancestral Vision to draw more lands in like four turns. Okay. Is this greedy? Maybe? I don't know. Yes. We did it. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh dear. Kolagon's command? Obviously Kolagon's command. And they targeted themselves to discard to put an Iona into the graveyard. Well, that's going to be rough. Unless... You got it. What is that? Archon of Cruelty? Oof. Oof. Wow, we've just hit we're we're just hitting the mother load of lands. <laughs> so that would not have been a problem. We could have actually cast a Karn here. Makeshift mannequin. And then we'll just get rid of it. Yep. Perfect. So they have one card in hand. Seems good. Unless it's like necromancy, and then it seems bad. That's how it works. It was not a necromancy, and we are Gucci. Oh, Caracas! Oh, baby boy! Give me that big! Give me them big cracks! We're gonna crack that immediately. Yep. <laughs> that's, uh, yep. Then that's gonna be it. All right, beautiful. <laughs> absolutely wonderful. I don't think we're boarding anything in here. Uh, I feel like it's very unlikely that they would be able to beat a Caracas consistently. 
They do have Archon. I mean, sure. You're not wrong. I will keep this hand. Mulligan to five. Mulligans to four. And that might be the end, my, 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 my dudes. I mean, they're really looking for the god hand here. With, like, land, reanimate, entomb. Thoughtsies. Oh, oh. Okay, they kept it. Oh, it's not. We have also Manalik and Remand. It's pretty good. Well, they did not entomb. I mean, it, okay, we won the match. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can 3-0, I guess. I did not think this deck was going to 3-0, but it might not. So, one more round. Well, here we go. God, these one land hands, man. God, these one land hands, man. Okay, two land, you got it. We'll ship Mox. And Proxy, done. Good. Well, I guess we got lands for things and mana stuff. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. What is this, two mana to activate? Sure. Huh. I think we're just going to keep our... I think we're just going to make a token here. We are one-third of Saltai poop. I don't know why it's called poop, though. It's a little derogatory. You got it. Cute. Uh, what a perfect hit. This power stone is worn. I, I ordered a new power stone. I guess we're not attacking. <clears throat> Worn Power Stone is better than Power Stone. It's like wine. It gets better with age, you know? Yes, I, I don't want to bounce either of these guys. That is correct. <laughs> Nick Squirt, you... <laughs> Fucking God, that's ridiculous. That's hilarious. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. I hope they don't play anything else. That'd be great. Oh, they did. Oh, good for them. <laughs> Who's been wearing my power stone? Oh, good. Skyclad Apparition. That's great because we have a Jason hand. 
So it's almost like they knew, you know? So we could play Phyrexian Revoker, and then they blink it and kill it. We can't counter it. I guess we could counter it, couldn't we? No, because it's free, and they're just going to... Oh, God, we are way behind. But I guess we still get to keep a creature up if we do that, right? So... Whatever. They're like, mm, I'm just going to kill it. Well, yeah, but if they if we don't play this, then they kill this, and we have no blocker, and we take one, two, three, four. I'd rather them just kill this and still have a blocker for these two. And then take, at most, two. Fascinating. I'll take two. Oh, God. Is our opponent two one <laughs> or two out? They're one oh. Interesting. Yep, sure. That's annoying. I mean, we're giving them a card, but I'd rather do that than have four more power on the board, I guess. Oh, Lauren of the Third Path. Very good against a deck with uh, checks, notes, artifacts. We also mulled to five this game, so... I'm just going to scoop here. I don't feel like we're going to have a great <laughs> a great time here. Um, we'll bring in Deceiver Exarch and Porcelain Legionnaire. Take out Arcane Proxy, I guess. Yeah, Arcane Proxy just keeps underperforming for me. It's the same... I feel the same way about Arcane Proxy as I do about Spellseeker, but I actually think Spellseeker is even better. And I dislike Spellseeker. Um, like, Spellseeker is three mana for a 1-1 one, one that gets you a good card, right? You can get a Demonic Tutor, you can get a Ancestral Recall, a Time Walk, whatever. But you have to put a three mana investment up front. Well, I mean, if they can ca if they cast Lauren three times, yes, it's, it's definitely worse. <laughs> That's, um, good lord. No. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Two seven drops, really? I guess we'll keep it because we have two two drops, so any land here is just not terrible, I guess. They also went to six, so fingers crossed. All right. And if we can go land, 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 then we get to go... Turn two, turn three, turn four. And then it's got to be over after that, right? Oh, for Jesus. What? Really? You play this when you have nothing to use it? That's interesting. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies and amber waves of gray. Oh, you did have something to do. Cathar Commando. It's weird that you would play this with Flash when I have counter spells. Like, why don't you just play it when I'm tapped out? What am I, I like? Like, it's far more likely that I'm gonna have a response to it than I'm gonna have an answer to it. Sure. Oh wow, no second land. How about a land for me? No. Okie dokie. We got two turns on this guy. Oh, they won. Dang it. <laughs> I 
100% of the time. Land. Oh, I didn't hit it? Okay, now. Absolutely beautiful. You think they have the ephemerate combo? Only time will tell. I bet they do. Guaranteed? That's how I'm feeling. You're gonna love the way you look. Although, Kaldara Complete seems pretty good. It doesn't have lifelink, does it? No lifelink. Oh, we're drawn? Oh, baby boy. They finally hit that land. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. Well, we're definitely going to pay one here. Ooh. Ooh. So we got six mana here, huh? Fascinating. Then we get to untap with five mana. Interesting. I think we just have to play something here, right? I feel like if they had um, Ephemerate, they would have used it to get rid of Basalt Monolith instead of letting me do stuff. Four more turns, they could lose. Fascinating. What? That's very weird. Okay, less weird now. Hmm. <sighs> Yep, sometimes you're just not meant to win games. Worn Power Stone. <sighs> Boy. Armageddon. Oh, they won. Cool. <laughs> my my hopes for for winning on Mana Crypt is where we're dashed. Two, three, four, five. You got it. Boy, that would have been cool if it was a Chrome Mox. Actually, that doesn't even do anything. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's, that's a game. One, two, one. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Either way, what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Follow me on Twitch, on YouTube. Support the channel in any way you can. It's really, really appreciated, especially while I'm currently unemployed. So, uh, looking for a job every day. But really, all the support definitely helps, especially after getting married. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.